see a demo on how Oracle implements locking inside its uh, no components. So this demo on transaction locking, what I am going to use is, I am going to use two users. One is Satish is the user and uh, he is going to transfer 100 rupees from account A to account B. So I am using a table called account. So let me show you what the table is. Uh, let me show you, this is the table and you can see that I have created a very simple table called account and the balance is 500 for account A, account B it's 100, account C it is 1000. Now what Satish is going to do is, he is going to transfer 100 rupees from account A to account B. That is transaction 1 that Satish is going to perform and who is the user here? Let me show you the user. Satish is the user. So what all steps Satish should perform to achieve this? Transferring 100 rupees from account A to account B, what you should do, first write log account A balance and up update account set balance is equal to balance minus 100 where id is equal to A. So what is the first step you should do, you should reduce 100 rupees from this particular account A and update state. That's it. The next step that he is going to perform is add 100 rupees to account B. So who is this uh, account B, B is having 100. So account B should go to 200. So after the transaction completes, A should have 400 rupees, B should have 200 rupees. So this is what Satish is going to perform. Since he is going to change A and B, he is going to write lock items here. This is going to be a change in the database. So it's going to be a write lock of the items. I have also considered another user RAM. RAM is another user connecting to the same database server and uh, he is trying to perform this on the same table account. So what RAM is trying to perform, transfer 50 rupees from account A to C. This is in sync with what we have discussed in our previous classes, transaction T1 and T2. So what is transferring from account A to C, so 50 rupees from A should be transferred to C. So that is RAM's activity and for that what all steps you should perform, write log A, reduce the balance of A by 50, write log C, reduce the balance, I mean increase the balance of C by 50 and then commit. We are going to perform these two transactions parallelly by these two users. So how RAM logs in? Let me show you. So this is the user RAM. Okay, I am sorry. I should say show user. User is RAM. So what uh, RAM should do, you can also view that uh, table, select star from satish.com. What ROM will be doing here, he will be transferring 50 rupees from account A to account C. So we will start with Satish first, let him start uh, performing the actions. Say here I have written write log A specifically, but when you run an update statement, Oracle internally enforces a write log, you will not be able to see that. But just for your understanding, I have given write log here. So let's go and start with Satish. So what Satish does, he is going to run an update statement on account A, reduce the balance of account A by 100. Let's go and perform that. Let me clear screen. So this is user Satish. So how will you update it? Update account set balance is equal to balance plus 100, I mean minus 100, where ID is equal to A. So obviously it will do a write log and it will start updating account A. So it is updating. Is our transaction complete for Satish? No, only part of the steps have been done. So at this point in time, say RAM comes in. RAM also tries to transfer 50 rupees from account A to account C. So what he should acquire first? A write lock on A. So but who is holding the write lock on A? Satish is holding. Let me run this one. So let him also try this. Update Satish dot account set balance is equal to balance minus 100 where id is equal to so you will not be able to perform that you see because this lock on a is being held by satish right now so you can be waiting there because there is a right lock already on a you, this will not be allowed for this person and uh, when this person can complete 
only when this guy performs this sequence of steps. So can we go ahead and perform the sequence of steps for uh, Satish? What next Satish should do? He should add 100 rupees to account P. So let's go and uh, update that. Update account. Set balance is equal to balance plus 100 where ID is equal to P. Is this guy able to perform anything? Still he is waiting because it is rigorous two phase locking or strict two phase locking, right? So he will not release the locks until he commits. But he has finished his operations with A, but still he has not released this locks. That's what we have to understand here. And if I go and commit here, if Satish commits, then you can see this guy will also complete. So if I enter commit, Ram acquires the lock and he finishes the work. So two phase locking protocol is uh, rigorous two phase locking is not some theory we learn. It is something that is implemented inside a product in commercial databases. Now who is holding the lock on A? Ram. Can Satish go and perform any updates on A? Say Satish tries to perform updates. Update account uh, set balance is equal to balance plus 100 something like that where id is equal to a. Since Ram is now carrying out his transaction, this guy will be in waiting because he has acquired the right lock. So when he can complete, only that guy commits. So we understand that only commit releases locks in Oracle. For that any database management system you take, they will have their own protocols. Mostly when you commit, they will release the locks. So, that is our demonstration. So, when I commit this, you can see the other guy finished it. So, it is purely based on commits, your logs are getting released. So, I hope by this demo, you should be able to understand what is the use of rigorous two-phase locking in a database management system.